The British Virgin Islands financial services sector supports more than 2 million jobs around the world, generates $1.5 trillion in cross-border investments, the equivalent of 2% of global GDP, and $15 billion in tax revenues for governments. This information and more is detailed in a report entitled Creating Value, the BVI's Global Contribution, which was executed by London-based economics consultancy firm Capital Economics. At the launch of the report on June 21, BVI Finance Limited executives emphasized that the report commissioned by the BVI is truly independent in order to establish what exactly is the territory's financial services impact to the global economy. Agricultural economics would not do this report if there was any undue influence from government, BVI, finance, or any industry. Their reputation is at stake here. And as we've gone through, we've looked at some of the, the comments and thought, actually, we're not quite sure if these are correct. So we, in our own way, have challenged them as well. And Capital Economics have come back every single time and said, this is, what's, this is where the data's from, so everything has a reference point. And they will not change the report. They will only produce what they have. So it's about Capital Economics credibility. So for example, there are a large number of properties in the UK that are held through BVI structures. So that for, and that has been an accusation against BVI for, for many years. But so you could take that as a negative, but actually the report explains why those exist. And there are genuine proper reasons as to why you would use a BVI structure to hold a property in the UK. The territory's financial services industry employs 2,200 persons directly and provides another 3,000 indirect jobs, with three-fifths of the government's revenue coming from the sector. The sector generates about 330 million of gross value added to the economy. Three-fifths of the government revenue comes from financial services. The earnings in the industry uh, approximately over $76,000 per person. So from an income standpoint and from a prosperity standpoint, you can see why the average uh, uh, per capita is 32500 32, One in four persons uh, are employed from the financial services sector. The sector contributes 32.6% of the gross domestic products in the BVI. Um, 300 million in gross value plus, and then 200 million in taxes paid. The media in particular, those international, came in for harsh criticism for not reporting the facts as it pertains to the transparency and compliance in the BVI with the over 40 international tax, anti-money laundering and terrorist financing regulations and agreements to which the territory has signed. There are many agendas in this industry. We're a small country. Uh, there are many countries who feel that small countries should not be in financial services. So they've used the media to, to, to some extent with misinformation, but this study provides factual information that those same sources will now have to look at and correct. And you as media will now have information to look at what you're reading coming out of the international media and properly assess whether it's factual or not. Uh, the BVI is, is deemed to be largely compliant by, inter by international regulators. Uh, and, and that's the same rating that uh, all of our competitors have. That's the same rating that the U.S. have. That's the same rating that the U.K. have. Um, so if international regulators are going in and saying that BVI is largely compliant, it, it, it becomes very apparent that what's being reported in the media is, is very false. Uh, we also have very strong anti-money laundering and terrorist financing regulations here in the BVI, and we have a strict history of enforcing those.